I think you're right, Brick. The stone projection isn't natural. Yes, but what is it doing here? Brick, I wish I knew what these odd projections are. I've taken pictures of them for analysis. I may be criticized for it later, but I'm gonna dig out one of these odd projections. It's your decision, Commander.
Well, here goes nothing. We're with you, Commander. These plates probably fit together, but how? These plates probably fit together, but how? Taste good. Hmm. Surprise, surprise. Attila was a spaceship all along. A starship. Faster than light. We're not in our own solar system. No planet but Earth has an atmosphere like this, and this ain't Earth. After so many years of bad TV shows and crackpots with phony pictures, here is the real proof. There is alien life. Load a cockpit. Over. 
Load a payload, over. Yeah, I'd say we're out of range. Way out of range. I don't see any aliens coming to greet us. For all we know, it might have been a million years since these people sent out Attila, and they long since died out. I don't know about you, but I didn't pack a lunch. Or a can of pop. Well, we might as well look around and learn what we can about this place. They might be here a while. Hmm. Hmm. Where are you going, Lo? I was gonna check for water. Or some way out of here. I think we should remain together. Fine. Follow me. This is no longer a space expedition, Lo. This is an archaeological dig. Therefore, I am the obvious leader. Fine. Whenever we need to dig something up, you can use the shovel. In the meantime, our first business is to survive. Our second task is to get home. We need to work together, and I'm still the commander of this mission. You don't know any more about surviving on an alien world than I do. Boston is right, Ludger. He's the one with experience in survival, and we need someone in command. This is no time for a foolish power struggle. All right, I agree. For now. Look! More proof of alien life. Do you think there's anyone, or anything, alive? It seems someone had to have been here. Let's hope they're peaceful. Or gone. Can you tell anything about what these people look like from the interior of their ship? All this rust. Corrosion. Perhaps animals have moved things around. Hard to know what we're looking at. Let me look. Try not to disturb anything. We might need this wire later. I'm gonna see if I can pull it down. First, shouldn't you turn the power off of the breaker box? What? That was a joke, Lo. Oh yeah. Ha. Huh. Stand back in case something comes down on our heads. It's beautiful. Changing shapes. Mathematical progressions of ever more complex polyhedrons. Next time I suggest pulling a wire. No, no, I'm glad you did. What could that have been? Not a random electrical discharge. Maybe it's a kind of computer display. Maybe to the aliens who piloted this ship, it conveyed some meaningful information. But to me, it means absolutely nothing. It still might be useful. 
Did any of you see? Was this here before that thing appeared? Of course it was. Do you think an electrical field can carry a solid object? Well, I don't see any treasure, but there is something in here. When we get back, the engineers are going to have a field day trying to figure out how this worked. Not just plants, but creatures too. I'm not an archaeologist, but these look like bones to me. But they are not lying where the animal died. They were placed here. Markers. A grave? Best guess. And now a home for those rat-like things. This is light, but it feels as strong as steel. What? Are you just going to dig right in? With a shovel? You will destroy the site. I'm not doing archaeology right now, Brink. I'm looking for something to help get us home. Your name will live forever. As the bone-headed space hero who destroyed... ...precious data at the first alien archaeological site. That's better than having my name live forever. As a commander of an expedition that disappeared and was never heard from again. Now get out of the way if you aren't going to help, Brink. This might take a while. What a fine accomplishment, Commander. Now we have a pile of meaningless dirt and bones. Maybe not. You never know when an alien bone will prove useful. What do you think? Was this the skull of a sentient being? Or a pet? Or a beast of burden? I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's dead. It's a strange-shaped jawbone. The teeth still look strong. <laughs> 